in order to sensitize the youths of Ovia Southwest in Edo states on the need to shun violence and promote peace in their various communities. The National Youth Council of Nigeria Edo State Chapter organized a peace campaign at the Secretariat of Ovia Southwest Local Government's area, which had in attendance the Ovia Southwest Local Government Chairman, who was represented by Dr. Odigi Francis, another guest. The need for youths to stand for what is morally right and shun social vices was also emphasized at the peace campaign. BCV News Gift Uagboy has more on this story. In a bid to foster peace in communities and Edo State at large, the National Youth Council of Nigeria (NYCN) of Yas Southwest Chapter held a peace campaign with the team Peace Action Empowering Young People to Become Peace Activists. The peace campaign meeting, which was held at Ovia Southwest Local Government Secretariat, have in attendance the representative of Oba Ologbe II, the Eluware of Usen, Chairman National Youth Council of Nigeria, Edo State Chapter, Comrade Moses Aguinede, South South Vice Chairman National Youth Council of Nigeria, Comrade Innocent Ajayi, representative of Ovia Southwest Local Government Area Chairman, Dr. Odige Francis, amongst others. In his remarks, the Ovia Southwest National Youth Council of Nigeria Coordinator and Convener Peace Campaign, Comrade Agbangbe Emmanuel, stated that the peace campaign meeting is to sensitize the youth in the locality, the need to promote peace and shun violence and other vices in Edo State. He said it is time for the youth to stand up for what is right and come together to fight against cultism and other social vices. He appealed to the youth to embrace peace and be peace ambassador in all they do. We are calling upon every each and every one of you to become a peace ambassador in your respective shape of influence, whether it be your school, your guiding principle, and your driving force. Empowering is not at the heart, is, is at the heart of our mission. We believe that every young person has the potential to become a peace activist. Speaking, the representative of the DPO Igoba Zua Police Division, SP Sunday Enomayo, highlighted some of the causes of conflicts and its resolutions. He said the youths must engage themselves in a peaceful activism through dialogue means to fight against courtism and other social vices. He stated that to achieve this clear goal, they must have understanding, dedication, collaboration, and maintain laws and order urging the youth to always indulge in constant training and minimal activities devoid of violence. Very young people with positive role models and mentors who embody peace values and practices. And by use of technology and social media, this is used to amplify these messages, mobilize young people and counter hate speech. By creating avenues for young people to share ideas, express themselves and build relationships, and now by collaboration and partnerships. This is done by bringing about partnerships between young youth groups, organizations, and stakeholders to amplify peace efforts. Also, it's Royal Highness of Baologbe the second, the Eluware of Usen, represented by Chief Julius Guabadia, a son of Usen, and Dr. Odige Francis, who represented Ovia Southwest Local Government Chairman, said the only way to achieve the collective goal is for the youth to engage themselves in asking questions through dialogue and shun any act of violence. They urge the youth to embrace and promote peace in all they do to ensure they take their destiny in their hands. Much as you will preach peace. I know you who are peace advocates. Preach peace to give yourself a you know, short laughing in every dimension of your life. Speak to the youth to shun vices, to shun courtism, to shun uh, things that will cause chaos, anarchy in the land, so that they should all embrace peace and harmony in 
our state. There was also interactive section and drama presentation which focused on ways to ensure peace in the society. In an interview with BTV News, the convener peace campaign comrade Emmanuel Agbangbe, comrade Moses Aguinede, comrade Innocent Ajayi and others said the essence of the peace campaign is to encourage the youth not to let themselves be used as thugs before, during and after election. The essence of this meeting is to bring the gospel of peace to every youth living in the southwest, in the Doe State and the nation at large, to make sure they become a youth ambassador and a beacon of hope. The topic for today, which is a peace campaign, is also a medium to tell the teaming Edo youth to shun social vices. You know, the elections are around the corner, comes uh, September 21st, 2024. They shun social vices, they should shun election toggery. Yeah, let me once again uh, say this to the youth, that there's no alternative to peace. In everything we must understand the importance of peace. They should, they should do their best to show uh, courtism and if for coming election, they should involve their seven to any electoral talk. This theme for today, peace campaign, is apt and it's timely, especially the fact that we are close to electionary period like this. So we are here today to be enlightened on what to do during election. Period. They therefore appeal to the youth to engage themselves in peaceful and meaningful ventures rather allowing themselves to be used as instruments of chaos and violence. Gifts Uwagwa reporting for BTV News.